I recently did a rare Mopar option video and people asked me to do another one. If you enjoy rare options you don't see every day, this video is for you. So let's go check it out. The first rare option is the Highway Hi-Fi, which was a record player mounted under the dashboard. It was invented by Peter Goldmark and his team at CBS, who partnered with Chrysler. It was available from the factory in 1956 and 57, and probably found itself installed in some 1958 cars by some dealers. The Hi-Fi was available in Chrysler's Dodge, Plymouth's, DeSoto's, and Imperial's. It was the first record player produced in a car and was available at an extra cost, approximately $200. The record player was connected to the car's radio, where its volume and tone were controlled. Its sound came through the car's speakers. It came with six records and a total of 42 records were produced and available for purchase later. The records were seven inches, the same size of a 45 RPM, but were 16 and two thirds RPM. The hi-fi records spun a lot slower and had smaller grooves. This allowed one side to play between 45 minutes to one hour of listening pleasure. Compared to a 45, which only plays one song per side, which is less than ideal when driving a car. To load a record, the front door was opened with the button. The turntable was pulled out by grasping the silver bar. The red lever on the left turned the player on when flicked up causing the bulb above it to light up. The record was placed onto the turntable, then pressing the red tab on the left side of the arm, moved it to the right until it stopped. Releasing the tab would lower the arm in the exact location on the record at the start of the song. The turntable could be slid back into the case and the door closed while the record was playing. To avoid the player from skipping, the arm was counterbalanced to provide more pressure onto the record and the player's case was shockproof. The records included a wide variety of musical classics, popular favorites, Broadway musicals, and stories for children. The prices of the extra records ranged from $1.95 to $4.95 per record. There was a narrow storage space under the turntable for the six records where they could be stored in their paper sleeves. The Highway Hi-Fi wasn't very popular and was expensive. It didn't operate efficiently as it should have and carried high warranty costs, which is why it didn't last long, making it a rare item today. If you enjoy Mopar videos, click the subscribe button below because this channel is Mopar only. The next rare option is the Headlight Lens Washer System. It is rare because it was only available as an extra option in one year, 1971. In addition, it was only offered in models with concealed headlights, including the Plymouth Sport Fury and Plymouth Sport Suburban Station Wagon, the Dodge Charger and Imperial LeBaron but for some reason it wasn't available on the Chrysler 300. It was only offered with the three-speed windshield wipers. The headlight lens washer was a one-year only option at the time. Chrysler advertised it as a way to clean the concealed headlights, which are seldom cleaned by automatic car washers. The wiper arm would park itself between the high and low beam headlights. It consisted of the arm with a nylon brush and a spray nozzle. They were vacuum operated and had their own black washer bottle. The headlight lens washer was activated by pressing the regular wiper washer button when the headlights were on 
and they only cleaned the low beam lights. They operated together with the windshield wiper washers. On the dashboard directly below the washer button was a light indicating the lens washer was operating. Its cost on a 71 Sport Fury was $29.30. The next option was the stereo cassette system. The cassette player was separate from the radio and was mounted on the floor above the transmission tunnel. It was rare because the option was only offered for three years, 1971, 72, and 73. Making it rarer was the microphone, which was an additional option and was dealer installed. It wasn't just a cassette player, it was also a recorder, which enabled you to record music or programs from the radio onto the cassette tape. The optional microphone allows you to record your own voice, ideas you don't want to forget, or surrounding sounds. A remote switch on the microphone starts and stops the recording. The cassette player was available with the AM or the AM FM radios. It wasn't cheap, costing between $219 up to $366. The microphone was an additional $11. I have another video with more rare Mopar options you could check out here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.